Well, the market's looking at pretty calm trade uh, throughout this week so far. What are you attributing the lackluster performance to? Oh, we lost my audio. Hi, Victor. It seems that uh, Victor is unable to hear us. Uh, do you have us on that end, Victor? Okay, I can hear you now. Hi, Perfect. Anita. Let's run through uh, some of the trading performance we're seeing on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. It's been pretty flat performance through this week so far. What are you attributing the lackluster performance to? Um, we, we think a lot of the um, tepid performance of, you know, over the past few days largely has been driven by the fact that there still remains a large uh, degree of political uncertainty. Um, investors are, you know, pretty much um, cautious as to what direction to take, um, given, you know, the, the, the challenges you know, surrounding um, the, the, the absence of the president. Of course, that is just one concern. I mean, last week it was the CBN's rollout of a limit on tenure of CEOs of uh, banks as well, causing uh, eruptions. A week later now, we're hearing that the SEC may enforce a code limiting the tenures of directors of any listed company. What's the market made of that news? Um, we're yet to see any um, reactions to that, um, any marked reactions yet. Um, however, from, from our understanding, that, that is a provision that has already you know, been in existence, however, has not been enforced. Um, we expect that going forward, um, there will be some kind of reaction. Um, however, it may not be as significant as you know, the reactions we saw with the, the, the changes to respect to the directorship of the banks. There are some concerns out there, though. I've been reading through a few articles saying that this move could well scare companies from actually listing on the NSE in the first place. Let's take a look at uh, possible implications, especially at a time when we've heard commentators say that the Nigerian market needs to grow. It needs to diversify away from being so heavily dominated by the banks. That is indeed a very genuine concern. Um, we are yet to see any marked um, uptake in terms of um, ec new equity listings, and we don't foresee any you know, significant growth in that respect um, in, in the course of this year. Um, this is ha added a further um, you know, dampening effect to, to that outlook. Um, we, we, we feel that there is indeed a challenge with respect to um, how people perceive um, ownership of companies in this, in this you know, part of the globe. Um, indeed, uh, it, it, it obviously raises a challenge, you know, with respect to an individual who, for example, would, you know, see a situation where if he lists his company, you tell him that, you know, after 12 years, he's got to resign from directorship. That is a challenge. In the meantime, it's still the banking sector that's dominating things. Fringe players, especially, Victor, seeing steady rises. What signal does this provide about investor sentiment at the moment where we have the likes of Spring Bank, Bank PHB and Intercontinental Bank amongst the top gainers on a daily basis? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting um, development. Um, we think um, it's part driven by a number of things, um, one of which would likely be the fact that um, in, on, based on current valuations, they still present, um, so, so they, they may look attractive. Um, also, the, the, you know, the, the clear cut um, directive from the CBN saying that you know, it's, these banks are not going to fail. Um, we expect that they will be taking over. So, people might be looking at buying them on the cheap, hoping that you know, once um, the whole um, issue surrounding the AMC is cleared up and it's actually set up and properly effectively set up to run, may be able to take on um, some significant ownership and hopefully um, be a part of what happens post. Um, the reconsolidation. Yet looking at yesterday's performance, we had EcoBank uh, ranking highest on the loser board, bagging a 4.9% decline. Why the backing of the trend to such a degree in that case? Please, could you take that question again? Just looking at EcoBank, it ranked highest on the loser board yesterday. Why is it backing the trend so strongly? Um, EcoBank is... Um, uh, Looking at it in terms of a relative valuation compared to its pairs, um, appears to still hold some significant um, premium. Um, one would expect that um, that is one of the you know one of the things that has been driving um, that that um, bucking trend. Um, but we expect that once things destabilize this um, in terms of where when people feel that it's come to a fair value range, it will stabilize. It's not something that we'll see um, you know continuing as a major trend.